What up, guys? I am back once again with a new live video, and I got somebody that needs to be put in their place, and y'all guessed it. It's the same motherfucker as before, Alexander. This little motherfucking bitch sits there and says that I ain't got what it takes and that I can't do shit. Well, you know what? I was going to put a diss track out on him, and, you know, and I was considering it. But I thought, now nah, what better way than to embarrass him where all this shit started and tell you guys the honest and very real truth about the way he is. Because I got a little motherfucking ace up my sleeve that I can use at any given fucking time. And you want to know what that is, little bitch? Alexander? You want to know what that little trick is? Here's a little secret. I recorded that conversation that me and you had. Yeah, that's right. I got leverage on your ass, boy. And I'm about to throw down and show you that I can hold my own. Dude, I don't even need a beat to destroy your ass. Just from that few minutes of talking to you, I already know you and know how you are. So don't think I'm not going to tear you apart because you asked for this yourself, dude. You really did. Like, you asked for it and I'm bringing it to you. So, with that being said, time to tear a motherfucker up. Yo, Alexander, I see what you motherfucking doing. Sitting there acting like you motherfucking know me, dude. You don't know shit. I go with the shit off the motherfucking dome every fucking day. My one track sounds better than your whole motherfucking EP. I don't give a fuck what you think about me. Anything I do, I do this for the fans. I do this for those that need some help, that need a motherfucking hand. I don't give a fuck about your motherfucking connections. All your motherfucking connections can take a motherfucking blind leap and fuck off and die on any given day. I don't give a shit what you got to say. Anything you motherfucking doing is fucking whack. You want to sit there and act like I'm always on the attack? Well, there's a reason for that. It's because I've always got to be defensive with a motherfucking punk ass bitches like you. And if y'all don't know what this motherfucker had to say, he sits there and says that years of musical experience and years of musical study gives him the right to judge when that's fucking gay. This little motherfucking whack ass bitch, I don't give a fuck about you. I'll motherfucking destroy you. And if you don't blame the motherfucking tribe because compared to you, I'm like a motherfucking sniper upon a rooftop. You won't motherfucking see him, but I guarantee you'll hear the motherfucking pop when I let that let loose and end your life. Then again, I'll end your whole fucking day. I'll end your career. So don't think that you can motherfucking end my career. Because guess what, dude? I'm here. You're not. I'm on top. You're done. So don't think that you can motherfuck with me, dude. Anything you do, I ain't see through. You can't face me. You can't stop me. Let no motherfucker touch me or hold me, dude. Don't think that I ain't gonna motherfucking come at you. Don't think I ain't gonna motherfucking fight back with everything that I do. Unlike you, I do this shit every motherfucking day of my life. So don't think that for a second, man, you ain't gonna sit there and treat me like your motherfucking bullshit wife. You wanna sit there and fuck with me? You wanna motherfucking judge me? You brought it on yourself, you little motherfucking whack ass hater. Better yet, <laughs> I'll just motherfucking end your ass right now, dude. I don't need a motherfucking beat. I do this shit in acapella. I do this shit for fun. I'll motherfucking destroy a little motherfucking bitch ass and lay you in the ground. I don't give a fuck if you can understand what I got to say. I do this shit for the fans, and that's all that fucking matters to me. Ask anybody that motherfucking knows me, and I'm going to let them be known that what you're motherfucking doing is fucked up and wrong. Everything that you do is fucking stupid, dude. Sitting there saying that years of musical experience or musical study gives me the right to judge people when I don't even know them, dude. That's fucked up, dude. That's whack. That's wrong. You need to fucking get your back straight first before you go on the attack. So I don't think for a second that you can motherfucking touch anything I do. Because in the end of the day, I'm motherfucking untouchable. I'm a motherfucking demigod compared to you. I'm a motherfucking savior to the people. I do this shit. I save lives. Unlike you, I don't sit around looking peaceful, judging people based on one fucking track. Because all you are is motherfucking whack. So don't think that you can motherfucking touch me. I run with the underground. I hold the motherfucking title proudly as one of the best. So don't think that you can motherfucking touch me. 
You want points to the test? I'm gonna fucking ace that little bitch. And by the way, don't think that you ain't gonna get your motherfucking lyrically split, dude. Don't think that I ain't gonna motherfucking lyrically split your ass in half. I'll leave your motherfucking laying on the ground. Send your motherfucking heart to your dad after I motherfucking rip your brains and your heart out. Leave you dead on the ground so don't think that you can fuck with me, dude. Lyrically, I'm a motherfucking beast. You're a motherfucking chunk. So go ahead and try to test me, motherfucker. I'll show you what's up. So don't think you can touch me, Alexander. I'm motherfucking destroying bitches like you every motherfucking day. Oh, and by the way, I don't follow society's bullshit like you. You're a motherfucking sheep to the slaughter. Where as for me, I'm a fucking leader, not a follower. I do this shit every motherfucking day of my life. I destroy bitches like you every single day in my sleep. So don't think that for a second that you were ever going to motherfucking stop me. I don't give a fuck about your connections. They can take a flying leap with you, dude. And by the way, in case you haven't noticed, I ain't see-through. Oh, and it's a little dose of reality for your motherfucking bitch ass. I'm always going to stay defensive. I'm always going to stand up for my friends and family. So don't think that you can motherfucking come at, with that, at me with that whack-ass attack, dude. Yeah, I might have stuttered a little bit here and there. But at the end of it all, I'm still here. I'm doing what I do. I'm doing what I love every motherfucking day of my life. I don't give a fuck if I get paid or not. At the end of the day, yeah, it would be nice to get paid. But guess what, dude? I'm here. You're not. I'm real. you phone. phony. So why don't you take that motherfucking whack-ass shit back to Scotland where you belong, dude? Not ripping on Scotland, bro. I got motherfucking friends through the roof from there, man. Awesome motherfucking dudes. Clearly, dude. But unlike your bitch ass, you're motherfucking confused, bro. You ain't got the motherfucking beat. You can't handle the heat, dude. So why don't you just go the fuck home? Just because you can't rap. But just because... I spit shit that people enjoy. Thinks that you gives you the right to motherfucking bash on me? That's where you're wrong, dude. I ain't gonna take your shit. I don't take shit from anybody, dude. Never have and never will. So don't think for a minute that you're ever gonna fuck with me or stop me, dude. I don't give a fuck about you or what you gotta say about me. But you better watch your motherfucking ass when it comes to my friends and family. I'll stand up for every single one of them and put your ass on blast. And I'll let it be known that the world knows that what you're doing is wrong. You're sitting there motherfucking judging people based on musical experience and motherfucking whatever the fuck else you want to call it, dude. Because in the end of all, I ain't motherfucking hearing what you got to say to me. All I hear is blah, 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 blah. That's all I hear coming out your motherfucking whack-ass mouth. So don't think that you're going to touch me, dude. Oh, by the way, if you want to call me, dude, you better learn to knuckle up or shut the fuck up. Because at the end of the day, I'm a motherfucking fighter. I guarantee you I'll leave you on the ground leaking every single motherfucking day. So I don't think that you can test me, dude. Unlike you, I'm a motherfucking champion to the people. You're just another motherfucking wannabe villain thinking that he can end a career. Motherfucker, I've ended careers. Take a look at motherfucking Eric Scrubbelo from Killer Clown Sounds Records. The motherfucker's whack. I ended his career in two seconds flat. I've ended motherfuckers in the underground, dude. Ain't no way you are ever going to motherfuck with me, dude. Oh, and I might be wrong with the word dude, but oh wait, I'm sorry. You ain't a dude, you're a motherfucking gay-ass chick. But yeah, oh, I'm sorry, maybe a dyke. I don't know. I don't know the fucking diseases that you got, and I'm pretty sure I don't want them either, man. So I'm sorry if I'm fucking ripping on you because you're gay, dude. I ain't trying to motherfucking hate on that. Like, if you're gay, dude, hey, that's fine. But, hey, take a look, dude. Everybody here falling in line. Every motherfucker here knowing the truth about what you're motherfucking doing. You're done, man. You're finished. I just destroyed your ass. I don't even need a motherfucking song to bury your ass. <laughs> but I guarantee you, dude. I guarantee you, your whole motherfucking crew's going to need a motherfucking crane to bury your ass. Because you're asked too motherfucking heavy, dude. You're overweight. You need to lose that shit. So don't think that you can fuck with me, dude. I rip motherfuckers up every motherfucking day. I'm a champion to these people. You're just another motherfucking wannabe lowlife. So don't think that you can fuck with me all my career. Because it ain't going to motherfucking happen, little bitch. 
compared to you, I'm a motherfucking demigod, so you better bow down from the very start. I'm a champion to these people. I'm their motherfucking savior. Unlike you, looking like a little motherfucking whack, whack ass motherfucking wanted to be pissed off rapper or pissed off artist that never fucking made it. Yeah, I get pissed off a lot of, about a lot of shit. Yeah, I'll admit that's true. But unlike you, I keep getting back up. I keep on trying, dude. I fell down 10 times, 11 times got up. Courtesy of Soldier Hard and Redcom 1 Music Group for the props, man. Y'all fucking rock. They say life just like I do every motherfucking day. So don't think that you can motherfucking touch the lyrical words that I say. Every motherfucking day I deal with little motherfucking whack ass bitches like you. So, by the way, in case you didn't get a motherfucking clue, I ain't see through. I ain't here to motherfucking waste my time. I'm here to motherfucking bury your ass and get on with my day. So, here's a little motherfucking dose of reality for you. Before you go judging people, get your facts straight first. Before somebody like me comes along and puts you into a motherfucking hearse and buries you in the ground, leaves you in the dirt, and leaves you in the middle of the forest where you'll never be motherfucking found, where everybody will forget your name at the end of the day. So don't think that you can fuck with me. I just proved to you that I can destroy your ass, dude. I will never be see-through. I will always be better than you. Yeah, I may have had to stoop low and rip your ass up live for the whole world to see. But what can I say, man? That's just me. Unlike you, I have fans. I have friends. The only fan that you got is the one that's on your ceiling. So don't even think that you can touch me. And the only reason why you're not saying anything is because you're motherfucking pissed. You're pissed because the whole world is knowing the truth about you. So don't think for one single second that I'm ever, ever going to be see-through and that you can end my career because that ain't going to happen, homie. I'm still here. At the end of the day, I'm still going to be here doing me. 2018 is my year for me. So don't think that you're going to come along and try to fuck it up because that ain't going to happen, dude. Time to put this motherfucking little bitch in a hearse. Bury him in the ground. Let him sleep in the dirt. Leave him swimming with the fishes, dude. This whole little motherfucking bitch. He's a motherfucking whack-ass hater. And, you know, this dude, he sits there and talks and says, Oh, well, my whole musical experience and musical study gives me a right to judge. When that ain't true, dude, you need to get the fucking back straight first before you do it, man. Because next time, somebody like me ain't gonna motherfucking lyrically rip you a new asshole. Some other motherfucker's gonna come along and blast your ass, and it ain't gonna be me. And you ain't gonna be able to do shit to stop it, homie. So. For all of those of you that do have Alexander on your friends list, here's a little bit of truth for you guys. Y'all need to get rid of this fucking whack ass. Because let me tell you something. This one motherfucker over here sits there and, you know, judges my song. All right, no big deal. But the fact that you attack my friends and my family, sorry, bro, that don't fly with me. If you guys are wondering what he did, he basically said that his years of musical study and his years of musical experience give him the right to judge people before he knows them. So for those of you out there that are in the music industry, I would seriously watch your back with this guy and not work with him. Because, all right, all right you know, like I said, him hating on my track. So fucking what? We all get a little bit of hate. Like, seriously, this old motherfucker wants to sit there and run his mouth about shit. When, like, it's, it's fucking stupid. This old motherfucking bitch wants to run his mouth thinking that he knows me when he don't know shit. So if you are in the music industry and you see this guy, don't fucking work with him. He's very unprofessional. He sat there and said to me, 
oh, I have every right to judge you and your friends and your family, even though I don't know you, just because I have musical background and I have experience and years of musical study. And if you guys want to, I can play that fucking shit for you guys. Matter of fact, I will do that shit right now for y'all, man. I will sit here and play that shit for you guys. So you guys can motherfucking hear it for yourselves. Like, this dude's fucking whack as hell. Like, he wants to sit there and say that, you know, he can end my whole career when he can't do shit. And look at him sitting up there pissed off thinking that he fucking knows what I can do. Like, I'm not see-through, man. You can't fucking touch me or what I do. And like I said, dude, I don't give a fuck about your connections. Because anybody that works with your ass is fucking stupid. You sit there and put on a motherfucking act. And that's all that is, man. It's a motherfucking act. So for those of you that do have Alexander Alistair Odinson McAleese, delete his ass. His ass ain't fucking worth it. And if you are working under him, I suggest leaving now. You know, get out of that shit now. Because let me tell you something, just from the few minutes that I talked to him, just for those few minutes, I found out about who he really is. Because you know what they say, man. You can tell a lot about a person by just one phone conversation. And within those few minutes of talking to him, I found out everything I fucking needed to know to destroy his ass. Which is what I just fucking did. Now, allow me to play back this conversation for you guys. So you guys can hear what his little motherfucking bitch ass had to say. And pay real close attention to what he said. If it'll play for me, which I'm hoping it will. So if it doesn't, I do apologize. I will be downloading this and playing it everywhere I can. All right, here we go. It is downloading right now. So give me just one moment here, and I will play this shit for you guys. So y'all can motherfucking hear what this little bitch had to say. And, dude, I not only killed you with fire, dude, I fucking... Dude, I fucking roasted, barbecue, I fucking buried your ass. So I don't know why the fuck you're still here, dude. Alright, here we go, guys. I got the file downloaded. I'm about to play the... I want you guys to hear this. I know it might take a minute, but that's because of my slow connection here and where I'm at. Like, because of the weather, we do have a slow connection. So, I will play this back for y'all so y'all can hear just how fucked up in the head this guy really is. If it'll play for me. I'm hoping that it will play for me. If not, I will be uploading it to YouTube. All right, here we go, guys.
Here's the fun. Alright, here we go, guys. Take a listen to this shit. said dude my issue with you wasn't the fact that you were hating on the phone that's fine you know like i totally get that but when you came off saying that you know you don't need to know my friends and that you know you think that they're blowing smoke in my ass that's where i have the issue because you really don't know my friends or my family so so really what gives you the right to do that like i wouldn't do that to you no that does not give you the right dude you guys heard it for yourselves, man. He sat right there and said, years and years of musical study gives him that right to judge people. And that's just flat out wrong. Like, what the fuck, dude? And shout out to Randy. Shout out to my boy, Young Fox. Whatever, brother. Shout out to Frankie, shout out to Adam, shout out to everybody that is enjoying this and watching me rip this motherfucker to pieces. Um, like I said, if you guys are in the music industry and you guys are seeing this, I would recommend not working with this guy because he judges people right out of the gate before he even knows them without even getting to know them. Like, at least get to know the person a little bit before you fucking, you know, fly off and judge. Am I sorry that I fucking ripped this guy up lyrically without a fucking beat? No. I did what I had to do. I defended every single one of you guys that are watching right now. And definitely shout out to my brother Tristan. Man. What's up, bro? But uh, with that being said, guys, I am going to hop off here because I do have some stuff that I do have to take care of, you know, musically and, you know, family matter wise. So I do have a lot on my plate right now that I'm dealing with. But I just thought I'd come on here, guys, and show you all that I can rip a motherfucker up who bashes on my friends and family without even thinking about it. Like... You know, this dude doesn't know me. He sits there and says he knows my career. You don't know shit, dude. You can't fucking touch me or end my career. You're full. Anybody that believes this guy is full of shit. So for those of you that don't know, you guys can look him up on Facebook. Or if you guys want to, find him on my friends list. It's Alexander Alistair Odinson Macaulay's. That's... And that's Alexander A L A L E X A N D E R A L I S T A I R Odinson. That's O D I N S O N. And then Macaulay's, which is our Macaulay's, or how the hell you say it, I don't fucking know, but it's N C A L E E S E. This motherfucker. You guys can look him up, as I said. And, you know, you guys can block him. Or if you guys want to, say something to him. Like, this dude really thinks that years and years of musical study and research gives him the right to judge people that he doesn't even know before even getting to know him. Like, it's, it's stupid. And it's like I told him in the phone conversation when we spoke. I don't do that to you. So what gives you that right to do that to me? Like, it's, I don't get it. It's fucking stupid. But anyways, guys, I'm off here to take care of the shit that I got to do. And Alexander, here's a big fuck you to you and all your connections because you are full of shit. What you're doing is wrong, so you know what? Fuck you and everything that you motherfucking stand for, little bitch. I don't follow in line with society's motherfucking fake ass shit like you do. So with that being said, guys, 
This has been your boy Chance, aka Virus. I'm out of here, and I will see you guys in the next live stream. Hopefully, it will be a little bit better. But with that being said, y'all, I'm out. Peace.